Hi friends, welcome to TurboMath channel. In this video, we are going to solve three questions about PEMDAS rule. In the first question, we have negative 5 plus 5 times negative 4 plus 4 then times 7. What is the answer of this question? In this question, we have addition and multiplication. Some people solve this question like this. They start from the left and they don't pay attention to the priority of the mathematical operations. Negative 5 plus 5 equals 0. 0 times negative 4 plus 4 which equals 0 then times 7. 0 times 0 equals 0 and 0 times 7 equals 0. Again, some people solve this question like this. They say negative 5 plus 5 equals 0. 0 times negative 4 plus 4 then times 7. Again, they start from the left and simplify the question. 0 times negative 4 equals 0. 0 plus 4 then times 7. 0 plus 4 equals 4 and 4 times 7 equals 28. They say the final answer of this question equals 28. But this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question a step by step together. To solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority, also addition and subtraction have the same level of priority, and when we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify this multiplication. 5 times negative 4 equals negative 20. Now we have negative 5 minus 20 plus 4, then times 7. Now we have addition, subtraction, and multiplication. First, we simplify this multiplication. 4 times 7 equals 28. Now we have negative 5 minus 20, then plus 28. Okay, guys. Negative 5 minus 20 equals negative 25. Now we have negative 25 plus 28. Negative 25 plus 28 equals 3. The final answer of this question equals 3. Okay, guys, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. 7 to the power of 2 minus open parentheses, 9 times 2 close parentheses, then times open parentheses, 6 divided by 3 close parentheses, then all of them to the power of 2 plus 3 to the power of 2. What is the answer of this question? Some people solve this question like this. They say 7 to the power of 2 equals 49. 49 minus 9 times 2 equals 18, then times 6 divided by 3, which equals 2, and 2 to the power of 2 equals 4, then plus 9. 49 minus 18 equals 31. 31 times 4, then plus 9. 31 times 4 equals 124. 124 plus 9 equals 133. They say the final answer of this question equals 133, but this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question a step by step together. Again, to solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations, and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. Parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. As you know, multiplication and division have the same level of priority, also, addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. And when we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. According to the PEMDAS rule in this question, first we simplify these parentheses. 9 times 2 equals 18. Now the question is 7 to the power of 2 minus 18, then times 6 divided by 3, which equals 2, and 2 to the power of 2 equals 4, then plus 3 to the power of 2. Now we have exponent subtraction, multiplication, and addition. First, we simplify this exponent. 7 to the power of 2 equals 49. Now we have 49 minus 18 times 4, then plus 3 to the power of 2, which equals 9. Okay, guys, now we have subtraction, multiplication, and addition. First, we simplify this multiplication. Negative 18 times 4 equals negative 72. Now the question is 49 minus 72, then plus 9. 49 minus 72 equals negative 23. 
Now we have negative 23 plus 9. Negative 23 plus 9 equals negative 14. The final answer of this question equals negative 14. Okay, guys. If you're ready, let's solve another question. We have 2 plus open parentheses, 8 plus 8 close parentheses divided by 4 then times open parentheses, 8 plus 8 close parentheses. What is the answer of this question? In this question, we have addition parentheses, division and multiplication. Some people solve this question like this. They start from the left and they don't pay attention to the priority of the mathematical operations. 2 plus 16 divided by 4, then times 16. Again, they start from the left and simplify. 2 plus 16 equals 18. 18 divided by 4, then times 16. Okay, guys. 18 divided by 4 equals 18 over 4. 18 over 4 times 16 equals 72. They say the final answer of this question equals 72. But this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question a step by step together. Again, to solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. In this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority, also addition and subtraction have the same level of priority, and when we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify. Okay guys, first we simplify the parentheses. Inside the first parentheses we have 8 plus 8. 8 plus 8 equals 16. Now we have 2 plus 16 divided by 4, then times open parentheses, 8 plus 8 close parentheses. Now we have addition, division, multiplication, and parentheses. In this step, we simplify these parentheses. 8 plus 8 equals 16. Now we have 2 plus 16 divided by 4, then times 16. Now we have addition, division, and multiplication. First, we simplify this division. 16 divided by 4 equals 4. Now we have 2 plus 4, then times 16. We have addition and multiplication. First, we do this multiplication because the multiplication has higher priority than addition. 4 times 16 equals 64. Now the question is 2 plus 64. 2 plus 64 equals 66. And the final answer of this question equals 66. Guys, if you want to get the right answer of this question, you must follow the PEMDAS rule. And if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Goodbye.